Good evening everyone and welcome to the Late Night Shift for the 20th of, of August 2010. I hope, we're, I hope you're all having a uh, pleasant evening, morning, or whatever it is when you're watching this. I've noticed that it seems when I do my rant videos, when the glasses come on, that a lot of people seem to gravitate towards. By that I mean like, those always seem to be the ones that get the most comments. And we'll maybe talk about that in a minute. Um, the main shout I want to give is to, of course, Narox. Matter of fact, I think he was the closest YouTuber to have a new video up that I actually watched today, to be perfectly honest. Here's, here's my thing. And I think I'm explaining this. I subscribe to a lot of channels. So, to watch everybody's videos, plus the fact that YouTube actually hides some of my subscriptions now, it's like, ugh, you know? So, if you don't see me watching your video, rest assured, it's not because I don't want to. In most cases, it's because YouTube probably made, has gotten this habit of hiding them all of a sudden. So that was the deal there. Um, I was playing um, <clears throat> that um, Gundelian game. Oh my god. Can I ask a simple question? How are you supposed to beat that game? <laughs> I'm at the last level. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> they give me two continues. So you're like, it's on beginner. It's like, huh? <laughs> Can you cut me some slack? Please? No? Okay. Damn. It's a fun game though, so when you end up. Then Peggle. Pe Peggle's cracked in me. I'm sorry. It just is. Pe Peggle's outright crack. <laughs> you give me Peggle or Bejeweled. Don't expect to see me for the rest of the day. I'll call in sick for more. Nah, I won't call in sick for more, but it's like, it's just fun. I need some help. I'm looking for a song, but I don't know the name of it. I know what you're thinking. How the fuck are we supposed to help you? I can remember parts of the video. A part of the video, and it was on uh, VH1 um, this morning. I can remember, like, things about the video but I can't remember the song I know that there was a girl and she was in the passenger seat of a car that was driving down a highway and there was like two or three um, motorcycles behind her and she was I, I know it was the girl singing but I can't for the life of me I don't know the song name if anybody off that vague description can help me with it Please do, because I am in dire need of YouTube assistance as far as that goes. And, I don't know if I mentioned this, uh, Wednesday when I went bowling, I had to admit to uh, the guy at, that was working there that I am actually a Closet Braves fan and I live in New Jersey. He asked the question, why? Let me explain this. Um, while it is true that we live in southern Philadelphia, we have to remember there was also a time when we didn't get to see all the Phillies games because they were on like Prism or like I think they may have been on the Sports Channel. And I'm not sure if we got that or we did, I forget. However, yeah, Sports Channel wasn't widely available back then. However, 
um, TBS, Turner um, Sports, was almost readily available. So being able to see Braves games was a lot easier than watching Phillies games. Although now because Turner Broadcast, TBS Turner Broadcasting went national with their uh, baseball coverage, you don't get to see Brave games as much, which kind of sucks. So that explains that, for anybody that's interested. It's kind of interesting though when you think about it, because it's like... And by the way, if anybody is interested in this, I have a Tom Brady jersey and a um, Walter Payton jersey in my um, closet because when I was when I was a young boy, um, I was a huge fan of um, the Bears, and I still am to a degree, even when they stink. <laughs> And in my family, being a Patriots fan is kind of hereditary. So it's kind of in, that's kind of in the bloodline. So if you're wondering how that worked, there you go. Uh, what else we got? I think I mentioned this in the pickup video, but I'll reiterate. When we finish, which, yeah, we agree to get back to it. When we finish the um, Sailor Moon RPG playthrough, we're going to go into um, the opus that is Xenosaga, because I'll call it a request in it. Although I'm going to caution you, that's going to be a long ass playthrough because we're going through all three games. Okay? So that's going to be interesting, to say the least. I got to go through all three games and record the. F and mercifully, they give us a 15 minute time limit. That's the good news. Here's the bad news. A lot of those 15 minute videos are going to be the cutscenes, and you're going to want to see the story, so I got to let those play through. So you see how that works, right? It is, it's, whew, that's going to be an undertaking. You sure you don't want to, yo, my man, you sure you don't want to see like, um, Final Fantasy IX? <laughs> that might be easier for me to do. <laughs> or Final Fantasy VIII? <laughs> Xeno Saga's like, ah. Here's a question. How is it possible for you to know who's, who's actually watching your channel? Or on your channel page? Like, what I mean is, who's actually checking it out? Lest I check, you can't do that, right? I won't mention it, but a certain web page um, somehow figured out that I sneak a peek every so often just see what cute little announcements they put up. Cute little disparaging um, remarks they put up about me or anyone. Mainly because it's one of those. How do I put this? There was a running gag. There's a running gag in the TV series Nadia: The Secret of Blue Water. Blue Water. By the way, good series. Go check it out. Get like both um, box sets for like thirty bucks, thirty-five bucks a pop. Um, there was a running gag in that series where if somebody was being talked about, they sneezed. So how would they know? Unless they're actually watching these videos, which I don't know why they would be. Um, but it's like, you know, it's like, we won't speak about them ever again. I would appreciate if they never see this. I would appreciate if they hit the bricks and 
never watch these videos again. They know who they are too. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think that's it for for the show tonight. I know I got 15 minutes to run. Why don't I use all the 15? Well, what else can we wrap wrap, wrap about real quick? Oh. The second season of Pitchman on Discovery Channel premiered tonight. That was actually that's actually a pretty cool show. Miller, check that out. It actually shows you how they get the products that they actually do the for the as seen on TV market for like the infomercial thing. Actually, that's the truth, kind of like the behind the scenes thing. And the second episode of American Chopper Junior vs. Senior uh, aired tonight. Also, if you saw it, um. Ramsey's Great Escape ended tonight, or at least this first season did, for, or as they say in the UK, the first series did. That always confuses the hell out of me how that works. Um, Alright, I'm going to ask this question. I did best anti-hero, or your favorite anti-hero, right? Now, I'm not going to give my answer. That kind of beats the person me asking the question. Who is your favorite um, female hero of all time? Alright? And I don't care what genre, I don't care what you go from. Comic book, TV show, movie, whatever. Pick one. And uh, if you feel like it, drop it in the comment. I'm thinking we might start doing these questions after every, uh, towards the end of every show, just to kind of see if anybody, you know, really wants to answer them. I know, like, one of the things that um, Mr. DeFranco did when he had the Philip DeFranco show was he did a question of the day. We don't do this every night. We just do this sometimes to fill the time because, well, I'm interested to see how your mind works. So let's do it this way. Favorite female hero or heroine and your favorite male hero. There's a tricky one. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, you all have a good evening, and I'll try to remember exactly what we talked about when I type up the description. Mahalo and aloha.